Her Excellency Rosa Otumbayeva, Chief Justice McLaughlin, Ministers, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests. Je voudrais vous dire combien je suis heureux que vous soyez parmi nous ce soir et que vous nous faites l'honneur de participer à cet événement qui, pour nous, est très important. C'est le premier débat que nous allons avoir avec un chef d'État qui pourra nous parler franchement et ouvertement des difficultés, mais aussi des opportunités qu'elle a eues à gérer dans l'histoire de son pays. Welcome to this launching by the Global Center for Pluralism of its annual Pluralism Lecture Series. This is a significant milestone, and I cannot thank, think of an inaugural speaker better suited than the remarkable leader whom it is my honor to introduce. Her Excellency Rosa Otumbayeva is a woman of courage and conviction whom I have come to admire and respect greatly, a woman of integrity and a woman of foresight. And over the many years, the Arkan Development Network and I have been engaged in Kyrgyzstan and Central Asia long enough to make value judgments. As a leader, President Otubayeva understood and championed the democratic aspirations of her people, guiding the country in all its diversity through the region's first peaceful and constitutional transfer of power, a remarkable achievement with tremendous implications for the governance inside and outside Kyrgyzstan. De facto, the very form of government was massively changed by the president's foresight, leaving to, leaving to Kyrgyzstan a new constitutional construct which has never been used before in Central Asia. Excellency, I'm so very pleased that you've graciously accepted my invitation to launch this lecture series with an address to the distinguished group assembled here today. In the course of my work over the past half century, I've become convinced that finding ways for diverse societies to live peacefully together is one of the principal challenges of the contemporary world. It has led me to the conclusion that pluralism as an ethic of respect for diversity is an essential building block of successful and prosperous societies. Canada is one of the best examples of a country that has embraced its diversity and cultivated a vision of nationhood based on shared and democratic citizenship. It should therefore come as no surprise that the Global Center for Pluralism is headquartered here in Ottawa. The center is founded on a strong and vital partnership with the government of Canada, rooted in our common belief in respect for diversity and the importance of building inclusive societies. Excellency, as a former Kyrgyz ambassador to Canada, you are no stranger to this country's commitment to participatory democ democracy. And you have, through your own example, shown that an enlightened leadership recognizes that, and nothing less than this, is acceptable for any society. It is my hope that the Global Center for Pluralism will serve the global community as a neutral space for dialogue and comparative exchange about institutions, about policies, practices, that foster respect for diversity, cultivate shared citizenship, and ultimately build inclusive societies. Much of the ongoing conflict we are witnessing in today's world is linked to the rejection of pluralism. One of the most important ways for the center to better apprehend this challenge and contribute 
to enhancing pluralism is to learn from world figures who have directly experienced it and addressed it successfully. Our inaugural speaker has shown that it can be done. Rosa Otunbeva guided her country through the initial stages of its democratic journey. But as she herself has repeatedly stressed, Kyrgyzstan's future as a democracy depends on the impl implementation of the rule of law, including respect for human rights and due process, judicial reform, and national reconciliation. These reforms will take time and will require continued leadership from the peoples and the government of Kyrgyzstan, as well as support from international partners, including Canada and the Global Center for Pluralism. Madam Otumbayeva, on behalf of the board of the Global Center for Pluralism, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you here this evening to launch the Pluralism Lecture Series. We are extremely fortunate to have you with us to share your first-hand perspective on the prospects and challenges for democracy and pluralism in your increasingly important part of the world. Thank you. Thank you for being here.